So he made. And <coughs> Guru Maharaj told that he has come, you should serve him. That then I served him water and uh, fruits and other things. And he became happy. Then in Nozif he again met. I served him. <coughs> he was bosom friend of my Gurudev. And that is why he came to Mathura, where I am. I was in charge of that much. And there he took sannyas from our Gurudev. Hmm? In Sikesavji Gaudiya Math. I was priest there. I made danda for him and saffron cloth for him and taught that how it is used. <laughs> and from then, <coughs> when he wanted to come to New York, first New Jersey or not, then he told me in Delhi that you should make a bandage of my books and sent it to Calcutta seaport and from there it will come to America. I became sick because so, so much, much dirty the books were there. But even I did and then I sent it to Calcutta seaport and then from there he told that I will go to America by navigation, Cynthia navigation. <laughs> and then he went. And he wrote me letters from America, New Jersey or Boston. Boston, uh, Boston, that I have reached here. But I was sick in the, On the way. <laughs> in the way in sheep. But anyhow, my Prabhupada has saved me. And then second letter he told that uh, I want that you should also come to, with me in preaching and help me in preaching. I told I will come but after later on I will come. Then I for him sent you know Indian Mathura Peda. One kind of very, very sweet. <laughs> tasteful. Oh, he was very fond of sweet sweets <laughs> and delicious things. <laughs> so I sent him, I sent him Kartal, Mridanga, DT, so many DTs. <laughs> when he needs, he used to write me that I want, you should send me. Always I used to send me. He wrote about 500 letters to me. Satsarup asked that, give your letters and I will use it in his biography. life biography. I gave, but he could not return. But I have still Bengali letters with me. And English also. And then he, he has written that I have the same transcendental relation with you I as I had from my a spiritual master Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. Same relation. At the time of departure from this world, in the same night, he called me Tamal Krishna Bhavananda, Brahmananda, Os Vrindavan. So many sannyasis came and I went with him. Then he was on bed, but when he saw me, then he began to weep and told me to sit on his bed. But I did pranam to his court and yes. sat on his chair, chair yes. separate chair. He began to weep that now I am passing away from this world. Please excuse heart mistake I have done. I have done so many mistakes because I have told that Gaudiya Vaishnava, they don't preach and they don't uh, write books and other things. They only eat and see, uh, sleep. Oh, I have 
done so mistake because they are my shiksha guru i have learned from them all these things so tell them also to excuse and also i have brought so many i have collected so many monkeys from all countries <laughs> and he told in bengali not in english i have brought so many monkeys but i could not train them well so please you should must help them i told i will do what you are telling i will i promise that i will do and the last he told oh you should give my samadhi with on your own hand there were so many his god brothers ban maharaj and others also tamal krishna so many his sanyasi is prominent but he told me that you with your own hand give samadhi and also also he told that you should do my dirha mahotsav separation festival dirha mahotsav ah my separation mahotsav you should do as you tell they should follow and they he told i told to him but one thing i want to tell to your all disciples then he told oh tamal and brahmanand all you should hear what narayan maharaj is telling hmm? i told after your departure i want to so they they should be combined and also want they should give honor proper honor to elders and also juniors also both if they will not do then your mission will be collapsed and you can also tell them to be very polite and humble don't control anyone by love and affection you can control all then he told here and you should promise that we will do and also you should always uh, associate with narayan maharaj <laughs> then i did what he did told i followed him and then i <coughs> tamal krishna girdhari maharaj giraj maharaj shivanand sen shivram so many used to come to me to read pushpanjali vilas pushpanjali brahma jayva dharma brahma sanghita then school leader saw that all are very impressed and attracted to narayan maharaj then our mission will be so harmful so they all did a meeting and declared that anyone should not go to narayan maharaj <laughs> if anyone will go then we'll they will be kicked out from this con because they knew that if anyone will go to him they must be attracted to him so i told all tamal krishna prabhu and senior sanyasi if you will ban on me and will kick out those will come to me then i will have to initiate still now i have not initiated anyone hmm? and then in whole world world i will jump up and go there and preach you cannot do anything <laughs> then after some time when my guru dev Depart departed then by the mercy of my shiksha guru shil bhakti vedant swami maharaj your prabhu pad and my guru dev i went everywhere in the world where swami ji has gone or not gone and everywhere i saw in couple of years he has made preaching established preaching centers even on the height of mountains mid to the ocean <laughs> in the midst of ocean mid to the sky in jungle like sarnagati and so many places and 
in so many couple of years, he had made lakhs and lakhs of disciples here and there, very qualified. I thought that these are my holy places. So, everywhere I went, and everywhere, hearing my classes, all began to attract it to me. Shyamrani <laughs> also came and so many. I saw that Swamiji really made hippies happy. <laughs> One of the hippies, original hippies, so many seniors. And they all were gradually attracted to me. And up till now, I have gone to six times, six times all over the world. Okay. I want to visit ISKCON centers also. But they will not be pleased. They don't never invite me. So from far away, as a holy place, I do pranam and return back. What, why he came in this world? What was the purpose? You should know that his Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, he ordered them, him. In Calcutta, when he took Diksha, that, oh, you can write English very well and speak also. I want that you should preach in Western countries. And when he took sannyas, renounced order, my Gurudev also told that now time has come to preach of our whole world. And then he began to preach everywhere. What? You should know. First of all, that you are not this physical body. If soul is gone, you cannot walk, you cannot think, you cannot realize anything, you will die. Understand? What this body is? A bag of urine, latrine, New and blood. blood, so many things. If you, you will open, you will see what? Urine, latrine, so many insects, eh? bad things, nothing else. So, you are not this physical body, but you are soul. This soul and super soul, Krishna, cannot be seen by these material eyes. By chanting name, by devotional services, a divya netra, transcendental eyes will come. And then you can see how beautiful this soul is. He has all the qualities, very manu, what is full in Krishna. So, by doing bhajan, you will realize all these things and be, be happy. One thing more. Who are, who am I, who are you? We are eternal servant of Krishna, Supreme Lord. But we forget Him. But where forget? In Golok Vrindavan, never. In Golok Vrindavan is transcendental bhumi, land. There is no Maya. Not Maha Maya. We cannot forget there. So we have come from a marginal point that is called Tatastha. Tatastha means no water, no land. Though there is no place like this, but it has been supposed. So by that where we have come, not Golok Vrindavan, and we are bewildered, and then forget Krishna, and come, came to this world. Now we are thinking, we are this body, not soul. And always, whatever we do to protect, save our this body. 
we are collecting so much money that by money we can be happy. But you should know, money cannot give you happiness. Never and never. You cannot eat meat, uh, money. Hmm? If money will come, then you will be, you will have false pride. False ego. Ego. And then you will drink alcohol. And you will make so many ladies friend, girls friend. And thus you will be debated from Krishna forever. So in Bhagavatam it has been told. When you will die, what you have collected so much money, crores and crores of dollars or anything, but you cannot take with you a single price. Always remember this. We are only trying hard to make money like donkeys. Donkeys are told very foolish. But we are more foolish than donkeys. So, what will go with us? Only what we are chanting to Krishna. This devotional service. And this will make you realize that I am so very beautiful form, having all good qualities. And by serving Krishna and Radhika in transcendental world, you will be happy forever. There is no old days, no sufferings, no birth and death. Here, endless pain of endless birth and death, you are bound to enjoy. So if you want to be happy forever, you should. Chant, remember. But yourself cannot. A qualified guru is needed. If you want to learn anything in this world, eh, you'll have to go to a school, college, here, there. You'll have to learn it from any qualified teacher. So, we'll have to go to a very qualified guru. And for this, it has been told, Tasmat Gurum Prapat Deita Jigyasu Shreya Uttamam. Sabde Parecha Nishnatam Brahmanu Pashbhasya. Those who is very learned in all scriptures, that he can remove the doubts of any doubt of disciples. He should, must have some uh, realization about Supreme Lord. And third, he must be detached from worldly these things. Then he is Guru. And he can help you. If anyone is always making money and very attracted to that money, or very attracted to any lady or any man, he is not Guru. So, you know, one thing more, that when anyone goes to Gurudev, like so many thousand and thousand of disciples went to Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, and he initiated. Shraddha came, faith came. What faith? That if I will serve Krishna, I, I have done everything. My life is successful. This is Shraddha, faith. After that, Guru told that you should chant name, do archan, pujan, and other things. Be, uh, you should associate with high class of Vaishnav. Then, Nishtha used to come. But still, Taste has not come. That is, test means? Ruchi. Ruchi. Bhakti standard, starts from Shraddha. Shraddha, Guru Seva, Guru Karan, Asaptam Guru, and then Bhajan Kriya. 
भजन एंड देन निष्ठा कम्स बट इफ रुचि हैज नॉट कम इन हियरिंग हरी कथा सर्विंग वैष्णव इन अर्चन इन क्यू कुकिंग ऑफ ठाकुर जी इफ रुचि हैज नॉट कम देन दिस टाइम इज वेरी क्रिटिकल एंड दैट वेंट विथ ए स्कॉन भक्ति वेदान स्वामी महाराज गेव देन श्रद्धा भजन क्रिया ऑल्सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ डूइंग भजन एवरीथिंग निष्ठा बिगेन टू कम बट रुचि कुड नॉट कम एंड ही पास अवे फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड एंड दैट इज वाई ऑल दिस सन्यासी टॉप टू बटन ओ डिविशिएटिंग डिविशिएटिंग वन आफ्टर नादर ऑन आफ्टर नादर एंड दोज हु आर now present oh they don't chant well no need of chanting my disciples are chanting for me <laughs> so <clears throat> but they say oh narayan maharaj always uh unko niche dikhlata hai swami ji ko उनकी बात ही विरोध करता है अगेंस्ट ही तो आई ऑलवेज ऑनर बिंग ग्लोरीफाइंग एवरी वेयर दैट इज माई शिक्षा गुरु एंड रियली ही वॉज माई शिक्षा गुरु हाउ कैन आई क्रिटिसाइज हिम आई नेवर ओ श्याम रानी इज ही ही नोज दैट दोज हु केम टू मी आई increase their faith to their guru ji so only they criticize me that anyone should not go but all coming to me hearing to me so i think that it will be proper for your life your life will be successful if by expert you should receive hari krishna naam and initiation and very soon with a strong faith that only by this i can be happy in this world then your life will be successful if you are chanting name with this strong belief then you see that in a couple of day you will feel that i am happiness happy in bhagavatam it has been written jayatma samprasidati सवई पुंसांग परो धर्मो जतो भक्ति रधो खजे आहे तो कब अप्रतिहता जयात्मा संप्रसिद्ध व्हाट मीनिंग दिस इज द रियल ट्रांसेंडेंटल धर्म ऑफ एनी बडी सो ऑलवेज एंगेज्ड इन कृष्ण सर्विस दिस इज दिस इज बाय दिस मल्ली वन कैन बी हैप्पी अदरवाइज नेवर नेवर गौर प्रमानंदे श्याम रानी शुड स्पीक समथिंग ओम ज्ञान चिमरंद ज्ञानंजन सलाघय चक्षुरोन्मील तस्मा श्री गुरव नम फर्स्ट आई ऑफर माई अनलिमिटेड ऑपरेशंसेस इन द डस्ट ऑफ द लोटस फीट Of my most worshipable Dikshi Guru Dev, Nityalila Pravista Om Vishnu Pad, Astoda Rasita Sri Sri Madhuri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhu Pad, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shikshi Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pad, Astoda Rasita Sri Sri Madhuri Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our disciples' succession, and ah. Uh, all the assembled devotees so shila gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words so following in the line of what he's presenting that uh you can ask shamarani she'll tell you how i glorify shila prabhupad so my personal experience is uh an experience of an example that shila gurudev gives about our, our shila prabhupad's books that is his books are like a treasure chest and we were able to open up the treasure chest by his mercy 
and get some treasures in there. But within that treasure chest, there's another treasure chest, and that is locked. And, key is not with you all. and the key is not with us. <laughs> the key is in the hands of the Mahabhagavat. Jaha Bhagavata Pada Vaishnavarastani. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the Chaitanya Charitamrita it states, if you want to understand Srimad Bhagavatam, then the key is in the hands of the Mahabhagavat. You should fall at his feet and hear from him. Even though I received initiation, two initiations from our Srila Prabhupada, I'm understanding from Srila Gurudev now that the initiation that I received from Srila Prabhupada was entering the course of initiation, entering the course of Diksha. I thought I'm already initiated, but also in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it states that one who is actually initiated, he is serving the Lord with transcendental senses. And I was still feeling my material senses, but still I was thinking that I'm initiated. So Srila Gurudev explained that di means divya jnanam dadati, giving transcendental knowledge and realization of my relationship with Krishna as a beloved, as a cowherd boy, whatever the case may be. And Ksha means the taking away of all obstacles, all impediments caused by sins and offenses, all impediments to realize that relationship. So one who actually has Diksha is somebody like Narada Muni, who has no more impediment. He has his realization of his relationship with Krishna, with Ram, with uh, Lord Vishnu, and he's traveling without any impediments beyond time and space all throughout the universes, playing his veena and chanting Hare Krishna. This is the actual platform of Diksha, when one reaches Bhava Bhakti and then Prema Bhakti and actually sees the Lord face to face and experiences his relationship with him, that is the graduation of Diksha. So even though I thought that I had Diksha, there were so many things I couldn't understand about what Srila Prabhupada was teaching. So Srila Gurudev, as he's told us, I am giving you the shovel to dig deeply into Srila Prabhupada's books, or I'm giving you the key to unlock the deeper treasures of Srila Prabhupada's teachings. For example, since 1968, Srila Prabhupada taught us Namaste Gauravani. But I never knew what Gauravani meant until I learned it from Srila Gurudev. Gauravani is those teachings of right from the lotus lips of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what are those teachings? Araju Bhagavan Brajeshatanayas Tadhama Vrindavanam. My, hmm? My worshipful deity is none other than Krishna from Vrindavan, and his land is equally worshipful. I have no other worshipful deity. And the love of the gopis is the highest love, and the evidence of that is Srimad Bhagavatam. These are the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in short, because I'll stop now, Gurudev is teaching who Prabhupada actually is, which I never knew before. That Srila Prabhupada is in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami. That means, just like all of his predecessors, he is a, situated in Marduya Ras as a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. This is the teaching that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave, and I always thought that he was a cowherd boy. Srila Gurudev said that when he heard that all of us thought that he's a coward boy, which means that he's not in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami, who's Srila Rupa Manjari, then his heart felt like a thunderbolt to his heart. So now I'm learning and being in the course of Diksha, Prabhupada gave me the, and all of his disciples, the almond. And Srila Gurudev is teaching us how to press that almond to get the almond oil. In other words, to achieve the diksha that Srila Prabhupada entered us into. So we're eternally indebted to him. We're uh, trying in our horrible way to offer our life and senses and words to him. And uh, if anybody has any questions later, I'm happy to answer them. So all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Srila Gurudev.
in this world, we must have any object of life. What is our aim and object of my love, my life? life? If he is not no, new, then he is like animals. And what is that? That she told. The highest aim and object of our life. Love and affection of like gopis to Krishna. That they always have relation that Krishna is my most beloved. So this is the highest aim and object of life. And then you should decide the process. And what is that process? Adau sadha tata sadhu sang ata bhajan kriya tato anatha nivritti nishtha ruchi tata asakti tato bhava tata prema. This is. Begin from sadha. It will come by association of high class of Vaishnava. And then you should know the glorification of Guru. Then Guru Karan. And after then Sadh Guru Dev as your eh? intimate friend. Intimate friend. friend. And after that he will teach you what are the process of Bhakti. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Shmaran. And by this, gradually nishtha will come, then ruchi will come, then asakti, then bhav, transcendental bhav will come, and then prema. This is process. And to preach this aim of the life and also the process, Swamiji came, I am coming, I am turning all, that they should preach the mission of our Guru Parampara, coming from Krishna, Brahma, and then up to now. This is our aim and object of the life. Any question, anyone? Yes, Gurudev, I just wanted to uh, clarify for some of the people here who are new to uh, Krishna consciousness and to... Uh, to meeting a spiritual teacher like yourself. Some, some are new here in this. And can you clarify a little bit the relationship of guru and disciple? If, if someone is coming to guru, and what is he asking from guru to become disciple? And what is guru, what is he offering to, dis, to the person to become his disciple? What is this exchange, this relationship? In Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been written that all in this world want to be happy. They don't want suffering. But in the end, when they become old, very weak, they cannot test anything then they think, oh, I was very wealthy, very qualified daughters, sons, my wife, everyone. But now I am dying without any help. I cannot speak, kantham ghar ghar ayate, by cup, beat and bow. We Some cannot do anything. <coughs> So, what we should do? All becomes old, and in world, old age they realize this. So, by what process I will be happy? Then they go to any expert guru, and then expert guru tells him that world um, wealth is against transcendental love. If you have, you are very wealthy, then your mind will be go here and there to manage all these things. 
how can give your totally mind to Krishna? So this is against. So you should always chant Krishna name. Do services to Krishna. Whatever you do to please Krishna. Not for you. This is bhakti. Real bhakti. Uttama bhakti. What? Our activities are mind, body, and words, words and moods. Sentimental moods. Sentimental moods. If it is engaged only to please Krishna, then pure bhakti comes. But if any worldly desire you have, and you think that by karma and gyan we can have bhakti, oh, this is wrong. You should avoid all these things. Always engage all these activities to please Krishna. So, Rupa Goswami and others have told how the process I have given. It is so long. So, bhakti only. By doing those, you can be happy. Then he accepts Guru and then he begins to practice bhakti yoga. And in some time, he realizes that I am happy. Any other? No, can you? Any other questions? No, no, no. Hey. Here's a question. If, um, if one is uncertain of uh, their dharma and even not ready to give it up, up their dharma, how do you en- know what your dharma is to engage it in, in your service? How? What? Uh, He's telling that if we are engaged in some dharma, some dharma, any dharma we may be engaged in, but we do not know whether this is proper for Krishna or what is the proper dharma to engage in Krishna Bhakti? What do we do? When we go to any high class of Guru, he will automatically tell all these things. Then he will not doubt what to do and what not to do. This is the duty of Guru. And he he, he will show by his own example. example. So automatically, this thing will go away. Go, Premananda! Jaya Guru Deva Jaya